Hey guys, it's Ari, back again with another video. Uh. Straight up, now tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Oh, 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 or is it just the hit and run? <laughs> hey, we got a good thing. Give another video today. I have a hair video. This is my natural hair. This is its natural color. Everything natural about my hair. It is right now, okay. Although it is blow dried, so that's why it is so puffy. It is so puffy. But this is my natural hair. This is the length of it, basically. About right here. So every time I post my hair on Snapchat, you guys want to know, oh my god, like, how do you get your hair so long? What are, like, some tips that you can give us to growing out your hair? And so, I have a lot of things that I do every time I mess with my hair or whatever, so I wanted to make a tips video for you guys, or like a hacks video, to help you to basically maintain length in your hair, um, because that is the key to growing long hair maintaining length keeping it healthy so that it can grow okay if you like videos like this go ahead and like this video up also subscribe if you're new and hit that notification button so that you can be notified when more videos like this are posted so yeah all right so i have 10 hacks on how to grow a long healthy natural hair and i also will like while i'm telling the hacks i will share some of the products that i use okay so the first tip that i have is to adjust what you do to your hair based on the season so you're gonna do things different between the fall and winter and between the spring and summer and stuff like that so in the fall and spring that's when my hair tends to grow the most and it's because it's not too cold outside and it's not too hot outside so my hair loves that okay but when it is cold outside I wear a lot of protective styles because um, the cold can dry your hair out and make it just like how the cold dries your skin out and you gotta put lotion on you gotta do the same thing with your hair you know what I'm saying and in the summer I tend to like oil my scalp a little more I don't know maybe the maybe the winter and summer are I feel like the winter and summer are the times when you need to take care of your hair the most, but then in the fall and spring, you can be a little lazy with your hair, you know what I'm saying? The next tip that I have is to moisturize your hair every three days. This is what seems to work for me. By the way, I have like, I want to say 4A, 4B hair, you know what I'm saying? My hair is still a curl. It's not like a kink, you know what I'm saying? So it's the tightest curl you can possibly get, but it is still a curl. So I would consider my hair like 4B kind of. So, um... I have to moisturize my hair a lot and that's something that I struggle with. I get really lazy because I have other things that I'm doing that I forget to moisturize my hair so my hair suffers from that. But another tip that I'm about to share kind of works for me in my defense so it keeps my hair from breaking off basically because I'm lazy with that. But I say that you moisturize your hair at least three times a day so when you get into the shower go ahead and put your hair up under the water and then when you get out put some leave-in conditioner in it. The leave-in conditioner that I like to use is the Can2 Curling Cream. Um, they also have the Can2 uh, Shea Butter. The other one, it, it looks like this too, but they're basically the same thing. It, this one's just the um, Can2 Curling Cream. But this one is really good for like twist outs and um, just detangling my hair. This is really good for that. If you're not like straightening your hair, then put this on your hair. Um, and it's really good for that but yeah moisturizing your hair at least um every three days will keep your hair moisturized and i'm telling you you will reap the benefits okay also the next tip that i have when you're moisturizing your hair make sure you focus on the ends because the ends are the most important when it comes to maintaining the width if your ends are not healthy my ends they're okay they're not like too bad but they're not the healthiest like i do have a few split ends they're not too bad but they're not the healthiest um if you focus on the ends of your hair though that will that's what's gonna help you to maintain the length so make sure your ends are always healthy because the roots of your hair they have natural oils it's when you get lower that's when the oils start to not be there so your ends are the driest part of your hair so you need to make sure it's moisturized and um, sealed with oil the oils that I like to use are Argan oil 
a Morocco kind of running out, but this is what I like to use. Also, my Knight in Shining Armor um, coconut oil. So this is the Spectrum coconut oil. Love it. Smells so good. Um, I put this on my hair and my hair absolutely loves this. My hair will be soft for days. You know what I'm saying? So really, really, really. I wouldn't suggest putting this on when you about to straighten your hair and nothing like that. But this is just really good for like twist outs, you know, stuff like that um, to help seal in that moisture after you apply your leave-in conditioner. Now, even though you are moisturizing your hair every three days, the next tip that I have is low manipulation. So I feel like this is what my hair has really benefited from because I don't do much to my hair. Y'all see me, I'm always wearing wigs. And so my hair is always in twists under the wig. So I guess it just helps me to maintain my length because I'm wearing wigs or like, or when I didn't really wear wigs like that, y'all would see that I would have my hair in like a slick back bun. And so low manipulation, not really doing anything to your hair helps it to grow. So I suggest to not really mess with your hair all the time because it, it prevents unnecessary breakage and it helps it to grow. So that moves me into my next tip, which is protective styling. Protective styles you can do are twists. Like I said, I wear my hair in twists under my wigs. I do like four twists, pin them back, put my wig cap on, put my wig on, and I'm straight. Um, so twists are good protective styles. If you want to get box braids, those are good protective styles. The only thing it is with protective styles, you got to know like that you can't keep your hair like that for a long time without moisturizing it. Like you can keep it in for like a long time, like two two weeks, but you want to make sure your scalp stays moisturized because it can get really dry, especially like if you're wearing box braids, make sure you condition everything. So yeah, just make sure you don't outweigh your welcome when it comes to protective styling because you may forget to like moisturize your hair, like spray whatever's on it. When I did wear box braids, I used a braid spray to um, help keep my hair moisturized in the braids. My next tip that I have is to deep condition every other time you wash your hair. This is also something that I fall guilty of not doing, but when I do do it, my hair feels its healthiest. When I deep condition it, like I deep conditioned my hair before I blow dried it and everything, and my hair feels so soft right now. I bet it looks soft, and that's because it is soft. I deep conditioned it when I washed it this time, and just put conditioner in your hair, maybe put some oil in it with it, and then just put your hair under a plastic bag or like, a shower cap and leave it in for at least 30 minutes rinse it out you'll be straight your hair will be so soft and like it will thank you because your hair will feel amazing my next tip is when you do wash your hair don't wash the ends when you shampoo your hair don't put the shampoo all throughout your hair focus the shampoo on the scalp and then when you rinse the shampoo out the shampoo will like go throughout the hair and carry um all of the other unnecessary dirt out. I know people think that, oh, I'm just getting all my hair, getting all the clean, but you're drying out your ends because your ends don't even have that much dirt on it. It's really like your scalp that gets built up and stuff. So you wanna um, scrub your scalp and rinse it out and then the shampoo will just naturally run through your hair and rinse the dirt out of your ends. But don't like focus the shampoo on your ends because you're gonna dry your ends out and then that'll cause breakage and then you won't maintain length. Also, the next tip is also, um, in reference to washing, don't rinse all the conditioner out of your hair. And what I mean by that is when you do rinse the conditioner out of your hair, rinse with cold water. Because hot water, it strips everything out of your hair. But if you rinse with cold water, it keeps that moisture in your hair. So the next tip, like I said, is to wash with, I said, I said this while I was mentioning the cold water thing, but yeah, make sure you wash your hair with hot water because you want to get that buildup out of your scalp so that your hair can grow because the buildup will just, just cause your scalp to be itchy and dry. So make sure you get all of the buildup out of your scalp so that your hair can breathe and grow and maintain length. My next tip that I have is to put oil at the ends of your hair before you wash it. This will also prevent you from um, shampooing your ends and like drying them out. If you put oil on the ends of your hair and then wash your hair, it will help maintain that moisture so that you don't experience breakage on your ends from your ends being too dry. All right, so now that I'm done with all the tips, I'm just gonna um, tell you the last few things that I use on my hair, which are my shampoo and conditioner and then my other leave-in. So the shampoo that I use is the Tresemme shampoo. I really can use, you really can use any shampoo on your hair. It really doesn't matter. 
But right now I'm just using this Tresemme um, color treated shampoo. And the only reason I'm using the color treated shampoo is because my hair was colored. And like, it's not anymore. So I don't even know why I'm using the color treated shampoo to be honest. Because my color has been out my hair. I just, I guess because I have been using it for so long I just kept getting it. But this is kind of irrelevant. You can really use any shampoo on your hair to be honest. So... Shampoo, it's not the most important thing when it comes to maintaining length. So, shampoo is shampoo. The saving grace is your conditioner, okay? So, this is the Renewing Plus Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner by Organics, I believe, or OGX. Um, this right here, this keeps the moisture in my hair, let me tell you. And it's so thick, you know what I'm saying? And it's so, like creaming that it it just keeps all of the moisture in my hair and I love it and this bottle is so big and it lasts so long so make sure you get you a big bottle of the organics conditioner all of the organics products is good but this is just the one that I use I'm pretty sure that they all work wonders so the leave-in conditioner that I used I already mentioned the can two one for twist outs or just whatever just wearing your hair in its natural state this is a good leave-in conditioner but also you can also use the cream of nature with argan oil from Morocco conditioner. Um, I use the edge control from this brand as well. <laughs> Hence, laid edges right now. But um, you can use this to detangle your hair before you straighten it or blow dry it. And this is also really good. It's so smooth and it has a lot of slip that is so good with detangling your hair. So this works really good. Okay guys, so that is it on how I grow long, healthy, natural hair. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like videos like this, go ahead and like this video up. Also, if you have some tips you would like to share, go ahead and comment them down below. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button so that you can be a part of the notification squad because the area I'm using on the come up and we're sticking over YouTube one video at a time. I just remember, don't stress, stay blessed now. Bye!